Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi participated in the US-led second virtual COVID-19 summit this week. Modi urged the participants to build a robust global supply chain and enable equitable access to vaccines and medicines. In line with negotiations being held under TRIPS Council, Modi also underlined the Indian stance of waiving vaccine patent for the countries that have struggled to procure enough doses and have lagged behind in immunizing their people. Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi, on the invitation of US President Joe Biden, participated in the second global COVID-19 virtual summit. Prime Minister delivered his remarks in the opening session of the summit on the theme Preventing Pandemic Fatigue and Prioritizing Preparedness. Prime Minister highlighted that India adopted a people-centric strategy to combat the pandemic and has made the highest ever allocation for its health budget this year. India is running the largest vaccination campaign in the world and has vaccinated close to 90% of its adult population and more than 50 million children. Modi highlighted that as a responsible member of the global community, India would continue to play an active role by sharing its low-cost indigenous COVID mitigation technologies, vaccines and therapeutics with other countries. He also asked the global community to develop a robust supply chain to meet the immediate vaccines needs of people around the world. We must build a resilient global supply chain and enable equitable access to vaccines and medicines. WTO rules, particularly the trips, need to be more flexible. WHO must be reformed and strengthened to build a more resilient global health security architecture. India also called for World Health Organization reforms and flexibility in trade-related aspects of intellectual property rights or TRIPS for equitable vaccine distribution. The TRIPS Council of the World Trade Organization has been discussing a proposal floated by India, South Africa, the US and the EU to waive patents on COVID-19 vaccines. As per the proposal, developing countries, which exported more than 10% of the world exports of COVID-19 vaccine doses in 2021, are not eligible for the waiver. The proposed solution also limits the product scope to vaccines with a commitment to decide on the extension of the solution to therapeutics and diagnostics within six months from the date of the decisions on vaccines. India also volunteered to play a key role in streamlining WHO's approval process for vaccines and therapeutics. We also call for streamlining WHO's approval process for vaccines and therapeutics to keep supply chains stable and predictable. As a responsible member of the global community, India is ready to play a key role in these efforts. The first global COVID-19 virtual summit was hosted by President Biden on 22nd September 2021, where the major economies had committed to extend their cooperation to prevent COVID-induced disaster. A white fact sheet revealed that the second global COVID-19 summit has gathered more than $3 billion in new funding to fight the pandemic. While there has been a slowdown in the infection rate of the pandemic, experts have warned countries to not get complacent and stay prepared for any situation.